Hello, some viewers. How are you all? Welcome back to another video. Guys, in this video, we are going to discuss how we can install Sandbox C Plus. It is an open source OS level virtualization solution for Microsoft Windows. Usually, we can have Windows Sandbox in our Windows 11 machine. For a few of the machines, this Windows Sandbox will not be there. For that, we can use Sandbox C Plus. So we can use it as an alternative. If you don't have Sandbox, we can use Sandbox C Plus. And it's an open source. You can click and download it. Okay. Just click on Sandbox C Plus. You can go to the downloads on the left-hand side. When you click the downloads, you can go to the Sandbox C Plus download. Since it is my Windows 11 machine, I'll just take a and minus 64 bit. I click on this exe file, which is suitable for 7, 8.1, 10, and 11. So it is just 19 MB. So we'll see the installation and we'll see how to use this sandboxy. And it will be helpful for the folks which don't have sandbox in the Windows machine. Now I have double clicked it. So it is asking me sandboxy plus setup. Yes. So as soon as I click on S, it will start the installer. Click on OK. So if you want, you can read the documentation. Click on Accept after reading the entire documentation. I accept the agreement. Click on Next. So install Sandbox C Plus on this computer. You can keep this one and click on Next. So you can install Sandbox C here in this location. Click on Next. Next. So create a desktop shortcut. Click on Next. And it will be in this location. That's fine. Click on install. Now start sandbox C plus UI. Click on finish. Now you can see this has now been installed. Okay. So in the introduction, you can use few things here. So if you want, you can use only personally, that is for non-commercial use. Since it's a it will be your own laptop, you can use it personally. Click on and this is advanced UI for experts. Simple UI, that doesn't matter. You can click on advanced UI as a default option itself. Click on next. You can keep these options. Click on next. Regularly check for updates. That's fine. The stable channel. Click on next. Okay. Click on finish. Now, this is installed properly. So now, let us see the default box. Just right click on the default box. Click on run. Click on standard applications, click on default web browser. Now it should open its own web browser, which is Microsoft Edge. To differentiate this the browser from this, if you hover to the edge, right? So you should be able to see that it is an integrated environment. Okay. If I write just google.com inside here, now this is open, open in the sandboxy environment. So in a way, you can have secure browser. It is now running Microsoft Edge. Hope you have liked the video, guys. If, if you like the video, please click one like. If you're a new viewer, please click on subscribe. Till then, guys, take care. Have a great day. Bye-bye.